Hey everyone, um, hope you're all well. Back again with another video. This time we're on the Isle of Skye. We've been here for two days now and yeah, just took the last two days a little bit easy. The weather wasn't the best. So today we've decided gonna head out on a little walk over to um, Rubahunish. Um, I've been to the lookout so many times now and even though I absolutely love it, I am going with the intention of going down onto the bottom. I've never been down the bottom at Ruba Hoonish, so it'd be quite good to get down there and see. I think there's some quite interesting sea stacks, which I'd be interested to have a look at and see if any of those work. But yeah, we've actually got glorious sunshine on sky for once, which is a change uh, to what I had last time I was here. And it's nice, uh, even if you know it's a little bit too bright for photos, it's nice to just come out and probably have a coffee in the bothy so yeah that'll be quite nice and yeah i'll take you along with us so let's go so yeah i don't know how well you can see on the gopro because i know it makes things look a little bit weird in the distance but the bothy is just on the top there and yeah i've walked out here a few times now probably takes about 45 minutes and 40 minutes for us to get out there depends on how boggy it is out there so yeah hopefully uh, it should be quite nice when we get out there the skies are really blue which obviously not fantastic for for photos but it should be nice either way guys we've made it out here now you can probably just see the bothy uh, over my shoulder there behind me um, hopefully the wind's not too bad that you can actually hear me yeah we I didn't feel too much on the way out just because even though this is such um, a good spot and I love it around here the walk in is a little bit boring and it's just a bit of a slog so we just got our heads down got here in pretty quick time so yeah just gonna enjoy sitting down a little bit now and then we'll probably head into the bothy and yeah i'll show you around i've shot here uh, a couple of times now and although it is one of my favorite spots um, on the island uh, i feel like I've, I've shot most things in there so today he's probably just trying to find new things and yeah just also a couple of shots just to show you guys what it's actually like in there and if you come in here if you want to if you want to head to the bothy then you know this is what um, what it's like i think it's definitely worth it if you're going to be here for you know a few days and you want a nice walk and we brought our flask with us so we're gonna have a little coffee in there it's a nice place to just come and you know relax and you get some beautiful views over to Paris and Lewis which I'll I'll show you in a minute and yeah just a, a good spot on the sky uh, in the summer it can get quite busy so bear that in mind but yeah I think we've got the I think we've got the whole place to ourselves today which is nice so yeah I'm gonna just uh, sit here for a couple of minutes and just take in the views
So yeah, just shot a few bits in here. I always like to come in and just pick out the details on the spot. I feel like a lot of the shots are similar to what I've got before, but yeah, it's always nice to look for little new details in here and things that can, you know, tell the story of this place. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go on and film a little bit now. And yeah, then we'll move outside and see what, see what else we can get. So we just finished up in the bothy now. We had a nice little coffee and you know enjoyed um, a little bit of a rest um, after the walk. But now we're just gonna head down onto uh, the cliffs below and have a look at some uh, some stacks that I've seen a couple of times, but I think it might be worth uh, going and checking them out and seeing if there's any potential shots there. Just for there's something a little bit different. I feel like because I've been to Sky quite a few times now, I am trying to uh, actively get to some new spots and researching to try and find things that might be a little bit different. Obviously, the main attractions here are um, popular for a reason. They are pretty, pretty epic. But yeah, I think you always kind of want to try and find something a little bit different, something a bit new. So yeah, we're just gonna make our way down that there now. And yeah, we'll see what it's like. So we just made it down to the bottom. Um, there's a path that goes down there from the top, so it is pretty easy to get down. You just gotta take your time um, and yeah, you'll be fine. It took us about 10 minutes, I think, in total. And yeah, really cool down here, actually. Um, I've always seen it when I've come to the Bothy, but yeah, never actually made the walk down here uh, and checked it out. I don't know if you can see the up the top of there is where the bothy is. So we've kind of like just come down here up this path. And yeah, just gonna go and check out some stacks that are over here now. And yeah, we'll see what they're all about. I think I've seen one uh, on a, like a Google image search. And yeah, looks like it, it might be good. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what we can get. I think that's the, uh, that's the stacking that we're looking for. Um, I think I've just got to go back a bit and find what angle looks, looks best looking back towards it and hopefully put Patrick there for a little bit of framing uh, to make the, the shot a little bit more interesting. So, yeah. If you go, yeah, if you go on that edge and then I'll go back. Yeah, so I've come further up, uh, sent Patrick down 
to stand with the stack um, and this is kind of what we're, we're working with. I'll turn the camera around so you can, you can see. So what I'm making sure with this shot is, is that where Patrick is, there's like a slither of the sea before the cliffs and I just want to place him right in the middle of there so I don't lose the top of his head to the cliff. So yeah, hopefully you could see what kind of shots I was getting there. I actually moved slightly after uh, once I put the GoPro down and I think I caught a little bit of a better angle which I'll put on screen now. Um, but yeah, Patrick Wells, who stood there, said that he uh, he saw a cool little spot. So I'm running off um, and he hasn't brought his long lens. So we're using mine and yeah, let's see if, uh, let's see if this turns out any good. So yeah, just trying to navigate my way around. This place is like so nice. I can't believe that I've never been here before. I was saying to Patrick that I think the most of the time I've been to the lookout, it's been pretty dire weather so yeah it's nice to explore around here a little bit but I think this is where he was kind of aiming for um, let me just see so I don't know if you can see him over there and he kind of wants me on here So yeah, we've just made it back up from the bottom and it was really, really good down there. Um, I thought that there were some really good um, different spots that we tried and yeah, there will definitely have been some, some good shots. So I'll put them in, in the video um, as it's going along. But yeah, I'm not sure what we're doing this afternoon. I think we're going to probably play it by ear um, with the weather and stuff. So yeah, I'm not going to film any more going back to the car because it's a little bit boring the walk back, uh, a little bit monotonous. So. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of this video. I don't know how much I've actually filmed and how long I want these to be. So either this will be the end of this video or, you know, you'll see me in the next, next spot that we go to.